Hi guys, welcome to my home. It is my turn to show where I live. This is a small place, so that's why we're not doing kind of like a walkthrough vibe, because if we did, it would be over in two minutes. So this is the living room. My friends give me shit when I say the living room because it really technically is only one room. This is the lounge chair that I never sit in. No one sits in this. This is the chair that houses all the jacket, all the clothes, but I cleaned it up for the video. So no one actually sits in this chair. So my living area consists of this chair and then my sofa. So this sofa I got kind of, I think maybe like, in the fall last year so this is a maralunga couch that i got off auction because when i was kind of deciding on what couch to get first of all i needed a smaller couch this is a two-seater couch and i think i paid all in all with shipping i paid thirteen thousand swedish crowns which is a steal because if you look at these new these are like almost a hundred depending on like the size but because i was thinking like when you get a couch like even if you buy a couch at ikea like you're still gonna be paying like 13 14 15 thousand for an ikea couch i was like you know what let me check out auction and let me see what design couches that i can afford that are like within my budget the great thing about this is is i kind of know that i can like sell it and get like at least 80 percent of what i put down on it so you know it's kind of like a recycle reuse use that money to buy something else and it's a kind of full circle and these pillows i absolutely do not like but these are just the ones that i've had for years so they're the ones that are here this painting is actually made by me and my friend ida we spent a night here and just kind of painted i wanted something colorful because it is very like just black and white because the floors are really dark and the walls are just white so you know added that for some color and for my newest piece in the house my cartel convolini so listen i've been wanting this for three four years and it really irked me because i really fumbled the bag on facebook market i wanted it in this exact color and i saw it on facebook marketplace a couple years ago she was selling two and i was like well i can only want one like can i only buy one and she was like no you need to get two and i'm like Ugh. But I don't need to so I fumbled that bag and I had to live with my regret for three four years until I saw that they re-released it this is the one that's like bio something so it's kind of like recycled materials whatever whatever I don't know so I found it on sale and then you know when you go into a website and then it's like the pop-up you know 25% off your first order if you sign up to the newsletter of course I'm signing up to the newsletter bitch yes so it was on sale and then I got another 25% off of what it was already reduced so I paid a thousand five hundred and original price is slightly over three so I think I won and you know you can what do you store in there <sighs> It's like kind of empty actually because like so it has no function. I mean not right now. These are um you know the bingo that <laughs> the bingo that I had to go and <laughs> I had to go and get it so I get the cash out <laughs> from Christmas. It's a little safety pin. Mhm. Mm this one's <laughs> What is that? Maya! I don't know. Like I think I was just like I just I don't know what this is. Let's put that back. I've only had this for like a week, so I haven't really had to like, you know, live in. Anyway. You're not going to show us the last one? <laughs> I don't know what's in there. I don't know. That's not mine. On top of the cartel, Combolini, is this rip off a car relap <laughs> from, I don't know, I just got it somewhere in town and it's like, like it's cute and obviously I wanted the Anakari lamp but I couldn't afford an Akari lamp and when we went to Japan Julia actually got an Akari lamp we went to this like Akari showroom and I had picked out three lamps that I wanted to buy because they were way cheaper over there so I'm like oh my god let me get like all three so we press the ding dong and then the lady comes up and she's like what do you want and I'm like I want this that and that and she's like everything sold out I'm like isn't that lovely she, and then she was like the only thing that isn't sold out is and then she points at one it's of course the one that fucking Julia wants and I'm like cute
So I recently got this um, table. I had a glass table before as well, but then Eba bought it off of me so I could <laughs> buy this one because <laughs> I wanted one with a shelf underneath because I noticed that everything was just on it. Like you just had the books there and whatever. So I decided to get kind of the same table, but with a shelf underneath. And here I just have some random ass books. There's a Jack Muse book. There's like a photo book that our friend had and then this is oh my god i'm gonna show you guys so this is a book called living on the water right so i brought this book with me from the philippines if you look at it i kind of folded the corners of the houses that i wanted to buy when i was older and i mean y'all gotta see like i don't know what i was thinking but i'm like yeah because that's definitely gonna be a, in my budget like i don't know what i was thinking these edges have been folded for like 15 20 years and these are all houses that i was like yeah i'm gonna buy these houses when i grow up yep you see that i keep it in here for you know manifestation so that i can one day live on the water i have a couple of picture frames here so this is not 100 percent done right so i'm gonna put some shelves over here and my thought is I'll have the shelves to put on some books and have my picture frames because I really like picture frames in a home because I think it really gives a lot of personality and you know shows who you are so this is me and Julia when we were 18 on our Euro trip by the Berlin Wall and then this is of our whole friend group at Issy's summer house in a gigantic flamingo I just think it's really cute and I do have a lot of pictures that I would love to like display and then moving on we have this area which is the dj area so i used to see dj a lot before the pandemic you guys know if you've been following us for a while and i really wanted a place to like practice but then i found this dj set on second hand on blocket which was a really good deal so i'm like you know what perfect i'll bring it home i can use it to practice but also when we have parties at the office we don't have to rent a dj table because i already have one so i got that and i got the rocket speakers to go with it as well i don't know anything about speakers my boyfriend told me to buy them he's in music and music engineering so he told me to buy them and i'm like okay great so that's what i got but unintentionally look at the match it's yellow and my poster is yellow these two posters and the poster in the kitchen that you're gonna see later i got in seoul so i got it at the julia what's that place called remember the place that's in Songsu, but like the container park there's a bookstore on the second floor that has a lot of posters and our friend Dabby actually works there and she told us that they had really cute posters and these posters were actually from the Jeonju International Film Festival so I just think they're really really cute I have not seen all of them I've seen this one and the one in the kitchen i couldn't find this one online so i haven't seen that one they were really cheap as well so i got three posters for 90 swedish crowns so if you guys are in korea go to songs to go to the bookstore and get your super cute posters and then the frames are just from ikea the lumen or whatever lumviken or whatever they're called and i have this little buddy I haven't named him yet, but I got him as a gift from my best friend, Cass, and she got this at Miniso for me. <laughs> but it's like a little pineapple, and then you can zip it. I usually use the pineapple for like my electronics on flights. So I leave Mr. Penguin at home. And then moving on over here, this is one of my most proudest items that I own. Why? Because when I got this Monstera, it had only three leaves. And look at it, it's grown so much. I kills everything. I cannot nurture plants. I've really done a good job with this. Low maintenance, you just water it like once a week and you're good. And I got this really cute pot. It's from H&M Home actually. I really love the brown. And then I have this. This little light I bought actually off of this girl on Instagram that makes lamps off of like old bowls or vases that she finds like secondhand and the light is inside and there's a remote and you can like change colors but it's out of battery right now and i just have bought batteries for it and then moving on over here to one of my most prized possessions is a tv because wow the jump from projector to tv is just I don't know why I was choosing to struggle with a projector. It's an LG TV. Again, I don't know anything about technology, so my boyfriend did all the research and he said, this is the TV we're getting. And I said, bet. We have it on like a little arm, so you can kind of like move it this way if you're sitting 
on the couch or you can move it like towards the bed area over here. Y'all know what this is, that ain't mine. So I recently got these IKEA drawers and I know I hate myself too, it is the IKEA Malm. And I hate these drawers. If you've lived in Sweden growing up, everyone and your mother had these drawers. I couldn't really find anything that would fit like this whole length of a wall. And I honestly really wanted it to be kind of like a wooden, like an oak drawer or something, but I couldn't find anything that fit in my budget. Also because my boyfriend needed closet space. So this is just my boyfriend's closet. Those three over there are mine. Julia didn't want me to get these either. When I built it up and we put it like towards the wall, I think it actually looks kind of cute. I think it makes the place look bigger than what it is. And finally, this whole wall has purpose. I'm gonna tell you guys, I tried to buy these secondhand. Whenever I buy something, secondhand is always the first one, like, you know, for ambiance. <laughs> I really wanted to buy these secondhand because it's Ikea and like, I don't wanna buy that shit new. So, I bought it new. <laughs> because people are wilding with Facebook Marketplace recently. So these were 1,500 each. Why are people selling them on Facebook Marketplace for 1,200 and I still have to go pick it up? And I have to rent a car to go pick it up? That doesn't make sense. So I just went and bought them new because people were playing with me. I have an alcove, which I'm super happy about because then I, me and my dad just kind of added these curtains so that when we have guests over, you can kind of like separate it. So this is where I sleep. I'm, I'm sorry y'all, I tried to make the bed, but like I have a really big blanket and it's bigger than the, the mattress, so yeah. I mean, not really much to say. These sheets are... You've had those since I got to know you. Oh my God, I have! I got, I got them for Christmas like from my grandma. No, my grandma gave and my grandma's been dead for like five years, but like oh this is the this is you know <laughs> like I, this is all that's that. I do want to get like nicer stuff eventually. I did get one set, but I was gonna change the shades before you came, but I didn't do that. And then you just kind of go like this, and then now you have your little privacy. And then over here in the corner, I was just telling Julia about my amazing basket in tagalog we say your pang bahay so this is all my pang bahay clothing pang bahay is for your house like this is your housewear because you know when you when you come home and you want to put on your sweats and you want to put on your hoodie and you kind of wear the same like at home clothes right but i don't want to put them back in the closet boom and then you know remove it and put it there so i thought it was actually smart of me moving on over here so this is the entrance area. This is a teak drawer that I scored on Facebook Marketplace for 500 crowns. And if you know teak, these bitches, they go for like two, five, three. So I really made a steal. I did force my dad to drive two hours to a different city to pick it up, but we had a great bonding moment. Like we put our keys here. I have some jewelry here so that, you know, you can kind of get ready before you leave. This mirror is, I bought it on Facebook Marketplace, but I think it's from Zara Home, like way, way back. And this lamp is actually like a vintage Ikea lamp that I was looking for it, but I couldn't find it anywhere. And then Julia actually bought it for me. You found it, like, didn't you find it at like a store near your house? Yeah. It's like you got it for like 150. It was super cheap. And then we have some random ass candles over here. This is like where you actually enter my apartment. That's like, this is the coat hanger, the shoes. And then over here we have like a secondary closet. Up here is where I keep like all my towels and all my sheets. As you can see, it's kind of like squished in there. So this is a secondary <laughs> closet. Um, so basically here is where I keep like all jackets that are not like outside jackets you know what i mean so this is like a denim jacket what are and you hiding maya like i just kind of stuff shit in there because like there's no shelves and i don't really know what to do with it i don't know if i should build a shelf in or like like do i put drawers in i don't know what to do with that area so i just kind of shove shit in there but the thing is is i know what's in there like i, I know exactly what's in here I have all my bags over here on this side in this little like you know that area but 
So this is a mirror that I also recently got because I guys I'm not gonna lie to you when Julia said apartment tour I've been working day and night the card has been worked to death my father has been here my place has never been 100% finished so when Julia stressed me with this apartment tour I'm like damn I gotta put in the work so this is new <laughs> so I got this mirror I actually got it custom made at this like local glass like a glass maker mirror maker i don't know i just sent them a photo and i was like this is the size this is this is the dimensions that i want i think i paid like two thousand for it which i think is kind of like okay i mean for a custom mirror i feel like that's a good price right i didn't get scammed right no great yeah so moving into the next and only room of this apartment so this is the kitchen area so I have my Nespresso coffee machine. This actually saves me money because I'm really that bitch that will buy coffee outside. My rice cooker because that is obviously a non-negotiable. And then my Smeg Chrome kettle. So this situation, feel free to give me tips and pointers on how to situate this situation. Basically, I have all my sauces over here. I don't want them there. I want this to be completely like empty. But the thing is, is that the sauces don't fit inside the cupboards because the shelves are too like narrow they're not high enough so right now they're over here and then we're gonna move on into the the dining into area what? what are we moving Bitch, into we are moving into the dining area so that was the kitchen and this is the dining area i have a bunch of polaroids and pics of all the people that i love and i also made these fridge magnets like they are so cute, you like, could actually be selling those. Look at this little onigiri, and I made a little croissant. You know, I was just sitting here one Saturday, bored as hell, watched the series, and made all these magnets. <laughs> no fridge tour? There's nothing going on here. The thing is with my fridge, right? I have a full-size fridge, yes, but I only have one shelf. Like, the second shelf is here, like, I can take it, but you can't take it out. I don't know who installed this fucking fridge, but, like, you can't take it out because it will, like, it will hit this, and you just can't take it out to, like, put it in. So if I want to add the second shelf, I have to pull out the whole refrigerator and then put the shelf in, and I'm not doing that. This is the dining table. <laughs> this is actually just from Ikea, one that you kind of bolt to the wall and you can fold it down. And you can actually fit three people in here. These chairs are vintage Ikea, also from the Nils Gammelgaard collection. I got them off Facebook Marketplace and I have two more downstairs in storage. And then this is my favorite poster and it is also from Korea. I just think it's so cute. And I actually watched this and it was interesting. I put this up on the wall right before Julia came because I've had this on the wall four or five different times and it keeps falling down so I don't know what to do about that. The wall is just weak. We originally hung my TV on this wall but on the other side and it fell. There's the weather. Did you see the weather? It's snowing. It's snowing in April. But that's kind of it for the kitchen area. My rice is down here. because it's it's i do have a rice box up here but like it's full so that's just the excess i don't know what to do with that oh well so we are now entering the living area and then now the entrance area and then now the hallway so when you walk right into my home this is my main closet so this is only my closet and then when you go in here is the tiny bathroom so i don't know do you guys want to see that I, you can't really fit the tripod in there, kind of. You can't really open the door fully because the jackets are kind of like, you know. So you just kind of have to go in here. So basically, this is my bathroom. That is open because it's broken, like it won't close. So I have to call maintenance for that. There really isn't much going on here. Yeah. This is what we got. That's what we got. That's what we're working with. <laughs> Skinny. Yeah. Skinny. Skinny. That's that, really. Here, I do not have an in-unit washer and dryer like some others do. I uh, have... Is that a side eye? I have a communal one and it's in the building beside my building. So you have to like book your slots, you know what I mean? I'm telling you, booking a slot in this communal laundry room is like trying to buy sneakers for a sneaker drop. Like you need to fight for your life. But 
the great thing is that it's free. And I think that's kind of it for the house tour. It, my place is quite small. I've lived here for three years. My rent is really cheap. That's why I like it here. But I do think that I've managed to kind of make it really homey and kind of try to make it into me. But this is not my dream aesthetic for like my dream home. You know what I mean? I kind of like a lot of wood. But I think this is the best I could do with this apartment. Oh my God, I forgot to tell you guys, this rug, this rug is not the rug. You know what I mean? Like this is not the, the dream rug. This rug has been here for three years and it fit like the first aesthetic that I had, but I don't really think it fits in with this. I'm thinking of like a beige rug or whatever, I don't know. But yeah, this is my Stockholm studio apartment tour. I hope you guys like it and if you have any tips and tricks on how to, you know, really utilize space in a studio apartment, let me know.